people like this or what? Yeah. 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 So. Are you saying no that if if no that a thing? Like Elvis or what? <laughs> yeah, you can do it like Elvis. I wanna see it. Sarah comes and goes. We'll get on. You want to start or? Go for it. All right. How's everybody doing today? Woo! I'm doing terrible. That's why I came here. Um, it's a joke, so funny. I'm going to make a lot of this stuff up because that's what I feel like doing. Um, and I have a piece of paper here with jokes, but. I don't know them that well. <laughs> I'm gonna, so if I make a mistake, that's what's going to be good about this. It's going to be all raw. There's going to be mistakes. And that's going to be the fun of it. But, uh, but anyways, uh, my name is Noah, and I'm an alcoholic. And, uh, today I'm celebrating 950 years. <laughs> so. Uh, I need my 24 hour chip, my one month, my two month, my three month, my one year, my two year, my three year, my four year. So I don't know if you guys have that here. You got enough chips? <laughs> 950. <laughs> you know, I was gonna go uh, whiten my teeth, but it's kind of expensive. And actually, this is actually a dental bill. If you wanna look at it, this is a dental bill, because I didn't pay again. <laughs> Why should I pay them, you know? Or if they can wait. But I was going to wipe my teeth, but I figured I'll just get a tan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I know when you're trying to be funny, you can't please everybody, and all those people right now are right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> you ever lose a cell phone, anybody, Sarah? Anybody lose a cell phone? Mm -hmm. Do you get like panicky when you lose that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend too, he panicked. He lost his cell phone. Um, he didn't even panic that much though when he lost his. He had two children. He lost one of his sons in the mall. He didn't even panic that much because he had one other son. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> I don't know. Just so you know, I'm Noah, and I used to do drugs a long time ago. I used to, but I still do too. <laughs> um, I started using a lot right before the God talked to me. He said, build an ark, and I thought I was hearing things, um, but uh, I guess I wasn't. So yeah, that's, that's when I started thinking something's wrong with me. So. But actually, it was really God who talked to me. So then I got really scared. <laughs> oh, and actually, right before I got here, there was a club, another club down here. It said LGBTQ. And I'm like, what is this? Oh, five letters. I don't know what that is. So I figured, what could this be? Let's get blasted together. <laughs> so I, I'm like, that's what it is. Let's get blasted together. And what's the Q? Quickly. <laughs> so I went into the club, it was like this. I went into the club, I sat there. Turns out I don't belong there. <laughs> Turns out that was not the club for me. Um, but I made some jokes for them. And the next morning, a guy from that club um, saw me at the store and he yells, Hey, dude! Hey, dude! Uh, you were awesome last night. You know that? And he says, uh, my cheek still hurts. <laughs> and then I was like, man, I'm out of this. I got out of that place so quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, forgive me, Bob. Forgive me, Father. For that. I, uh, but, uh, I was just at church just now, and uh, I was singing in the choir. <laughs> and it was, uh, water thing you know you press it you get the water out but she got so relaxed after she started drinking it turns out that wasn't water that was vodka so we had somebody drinking vodka in the choir 
not a true story. I just. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I did tell another choir member there, and he laughed. I said, "Is she got the water?" I said, "Is that vodka?" <laughs> and she was drink, She was drinking like this in the church. So. I just pray that it wasn't too far an LGBTQ joke. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> you know, alcoholism is, is a disease. Uh, you can get, get yelled for having it. It doesn't make any sense. You know, like Jack, right? Jack, darn it, Jack, you're, you're an alcoholic. Darn it, Jack, you have lupus. <laughs> One of those don't sound right. One of those don't like, Sarah, you got, you're an alcoholic. What, what? Sarah, you got cancer, come on. You know. Well, this one's hard to remember. But I was at Subway, and there was a duck. Actually, there was two ducks outside. So I go into the Subway. I say, hey, can I have some bread for the ducks? They go, no. Um, well, just give me the bread. Just give it to the ducks. I didn't know that the ducks ate free in Subway. So I figured I'll come there the next day. There's about four ducks out there. I walk in. I go, uh, can I have a steak for you to sub? Um, no. Actually, I ordered my first sub first. I said, I just want bread. And they said, no, you can't do that. You got to order some. I guess the two, two halves I ain't supposed to touch. The two pieces of bread I ain't supposed to touch. So, like, why can't they touch? And they didn't know why. So, and I said, you know, could I have a steak for heat sub? And they go, yeah. And, but I said, don't bother ringing it up. It's for a duck. And I said, there's four ducks out there, and the other three want meatball. <laughs> so go ring it up, just give me a sub, and I'll be out of here. <laughs> oh, we just had a big jackpot winner. And it was that Mega Millions? It was one point. How much was it? 1.6 million? Now that's all estimated. So imagine if they estimated the wrong number. Like, what if they're off by two decimal points? You know, that's a lot of money. That's like a, a hundred times less. So, I guess what the lottery says is that we estimate you'll be angry. <laughs> rice, rice is good if you're hungry and you want 1,000 of something. <laughs> Yeah, if you, I had some, uh, oh, no, the scars healed. Well, I went to the doctor, um, and I had all these scars. The doctor came out, ran right up to me, started sucking my blood. Now, I wish it was some girl I liked, but no, it was a, some guy. Sucked my blood, took it, never go see Dr. Acula. <laughs> Dr. Acula, Dr. Acula. <laughs> yeah, um, you know they say comedians don't have a job, can't get a job, and that's why I'm here. Um, because I went, I went to college, I have over 10 years of education, and I can't find a job. That's why I'm doing this for free. You know? Well, seriously, I have over 200 credits. I went to UWSP, I went to nursing school. I got a degree in mental health counseling, but uh, I prefer to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, have you, anybody ever here get tested for STDs? You don't have to. Sarah did? Yep. <laughs> you know, it's scary, isn't it? Like, think, think if you, have, you might have AIDS. Isn't that scary? You get you go to a doctor, get tested. Mm -hmm. um, I guess when I did that, I got so scared. I'm like, do I have AIDS? So I waited for the test. But I said, no, I don't have to do this. So I do the roundabout test. 
Hey, Chris, do you have eggs? Not that I'm aware of. You got eggs, eggs, Sarah? Eggs? Eggs or eggs? Eggs. <laughs> you have eggs. Do you have eggs, too? Yep, I have both of them. Oh, yeah. crap. <laughs> then I might have eggs. Because I know you, and you know me. Do you have AIDS? Oh crap, then I might have to get tested. But the last group I asked that, the people I know, they both said no. So I figured I don't have AIDS. Because I know them and they know me. You know, because we know each other. That means nobody's got AIDS. <laughs> Anybody go to the dry cleaner lately? Chris? Oh, God, not real recently. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, well, I got a jacket that says dry, clean only, which means it's dirty. But, uh, anyways, I was going by the dry cleaner at 3 a.m. Had a sign that said, Sorry, we're closed. At 3 a.m., why are they sorry? So. <laughs> Next morning I woke up, my clothes weren't as clean, but I wasn't mad at them. I went in there, I, I said, you guys, why are you sorry? <laughs> you know, it was 3 a.m. You don't have to be sorry to be not open at 3 a.m. You're a dry cleaner, <laughs> you know? So we got that straight. <laughs> so now they took the sign off. <laughs> um, yeah, I just couldn't believe they were sorry to be, clo to be closed at 3 a.m. That's crazy. <laughs> now, if you were Polito's, or a bar, or bars they close at 2 or 2.30. <laughs> but yeah, they were happy I didn't get mad at them. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do in the summer is to uh, get a whole bunch of toothpicks, and I go up north, the Aqua, Eagle River, I look for a forest, I throw a toothpick in there, and then I go, hey, you're home. You know, you got those toothpicks in that home. They gotta go back to the forest. <laughs> yeah, I don't got any more out here. Yeah, I figured you guys didn't want to see me that long anyway. Nobody's laughing. <laughs> That's one of the biggest ways to get people to laugh is pretend you're like dumb and nobody likes you up here. That, that's what people laugh at. I don't know why. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, but anyways, I guess, uh, you know, when I look at you all, you know what you look like to me? You look like you're all going to chase me. Like you're all running after me. You know, you're going like this. Yeah. And he said, F it. Let's just sit down. We ain't going to catch him. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. You're all sitting down facing me. You can get up, you can chase me. <laughs> but give me a warning so I can get out the door. Um, but thanks, that's all I have tonight. God bless you. Um, yeah, that's it. Wow. Peace.